And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a transparent background using the foreground select tool. This is yet another way to create a transparent background. I've got the origin here, I copy that. Make sure it has an alpha channel, so right click add alpha channel. If it's in a squish color, you've got one. Now we need the foreground select. You will find that right here where the free select tool is, right click on it and then select it. Keep the defaults, so draw foreground and the first mode should be active. Don't worry about the rest for now, we'll just create this rough outline. So left click and then drag it around what you want to select. It doesn't have to be perfect as you can see, just keep the distance to what you want to have. When you've arrived at the starting point, the circle will appear. Just release and press enter. Now we can play around with the stroke width. So it's kind of like a paintbrush, what you've got here, and we'll create the mask now. Just paint over it and it will add parts to your selection. When you've added too much to it, just press Ctrl Z, paint over it again. And you don't really have to go into every little detail here, for example with the hair or the head, and even on the arms and shoulders, I haven't gone to the exact edge, and you don't have to. Just check the box up here where it says preview mask. And then GIMP will process it. It might take a little bit of time, but when it's done, you can see what we've got in our mask. If you like it, press select. We want to get rid of the background, so we need to go to select and inverse, and then press Ctrl X. I've still got the original visible, so let me make that invisible. And it has done a proper job of selecting the edges. But up here there is a part missing. So let me add that manually. I'll just copy the original layer. Then I'll add a mask with this icon down here. Make sure it's fully black. And now we use the paintbrush tool and paint with a white color on the layer mask, so not the layer itself. If you have the original visible, you can see what you want to add. So keep that and then paint over it. If I make the original invisible, we've added this to our selection. If you paint over it too much, just zoom in, then switch your color to black and go down with the size of the brush and then paint over it again, right here. And this is how you can use the foreground select tool to create a transparent background in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.